Hi everyone, Chip here from Stomp Software and I'm going to give you a quick walk through the all new Album Stomp. Album Stomp is a super fast, super easy, super affordable album design software solution. And in this all new version, we've made it even more flexible, more fast and more fun, giving you more freedom to get back to doing what you love. When you open Album Stomp for the first time, you will come to the new albums tab. From here, you can select an album from the album company presets or select custom album to set a custom size. For today, we're gonna to select an album from the preset list. Enter the name of your album project. Select your album supplier, and then the album type that you're wanting to design. Make sure that you select the right album type. Album Stomp has already taken care of all the measurements to make sure they comply with your print lab specifications. Below, you can see an example of the spread, including the trim area for your guidance. Select the number of spreads that you would like to design and click It's Album Time. As it's your first album, I'm going to bring your attention to the Settings tab before we start designing. Here you have General and Design Default Settings. In Design Default Settings, you can select your spread background color for all the spreads going forward, as well as the border and margin colors and widths. If you select them now, they will be applied across the whole album. Import your images by clicking and dragging your image onto the image browser. Or you can go to File, Open. You can also click on the Drop Images Here icon and select the images. Now let's get to designing. Select an image, then drag and drop your image onto the spread. If you would like more than one image, select a few by holding down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC. A layout will automatically be created based on the number of images that you selected and to fit perfectly on the spreader page. If you decide you want to crop an image in a stomp group, right-click on the image and go to Crop. Here you can choose a preset crop ratio or crop it by hand. You can also hover over the image and click the crop icon in the top right-hand corner. Our all new adjustable margin control is my favorite. Hover over the margins between the images and drag them. Easy peasy. If you would like to zoom in on a certain image, use the slider at the top of the image. If the padlock is unlocked, you can move your image around within the cropped area. If you no longer want an image in a particular layout, hover over the image and then click the trash bin icon. Album Stomp will automatically create a new layout to suit the remaining number of images. To add or replace photos in a group on the spread, select the image and drag it onto your layout. Drop your new image over the replace to change the current image, or over add to add a new image to the group. You can scroll through the different layouts to change up your design. If a layout you would like to use is not available, scroll down to Custom Layouts. The layouts are based on arrangements of columns and rows and the number of images you've selected. Enter the values that you wish and an example of the layout will be shown below. You can resize the layouts by clicking and dragging the sides or corners, or by using the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. To design the next spread, click on the arrow to the right.
To see all your spreads, click on the Spread Navigator drop-down menu above the preview pane. Here you can click on any individual spread and go directly to it. Rearrange your spreads by clicking and dragging them. Or delete a spread by clicking on the trash icon. Sometimes you may want to choose the background color to something other than white. Head to Tools and click on the background color icon. You can choose black, white, or any other color you like. If you want to add an image to your background, we've made that easier as well. Go to Tools, Background Color, and click Open image. Browse your computer for the image you would like to add. You can zoom in on your image by using the slider or reposition it in the preview. You can also add a color onto the image and then adjust the opacity of the image. If you don't like how it looks or want to change something, just head to Open Image again and perform your adjustments. You can also drop your images directly onto the right or left page. If you would like your image to be full bleed, just press enter on your keyboard. Now this one is awesome as well. You can have two layouts side by side and the margins between the images matching. Select one of the groups and drag it over the other image. Now make sure you don't let go and then drag it back to the spread slowly and a blue highlighted margin will appear when they match. If you want to swap the placement of the images, just double click on one image, then drag it over the other. Release the first image and the two images will swap places. This album is coming along really nicely. Go to Tools and click on the Text tool. In Album Stomp, you can access all the fonts installed on your computer. You can change the font size, color, and alignment. Once you're happy with the text, click OK and you'll see your text appear. If it's not where you want it, simply move it around the page to where you would like it to go. If you need to alter something, double click on the text and the dialog box will appear again. You can also add extra text if you would like. To change the opacity of an image, simply use the Opacity slider under Tools. So you have now finished your album, but you no longer want a particular spread. Head to the Spread Navigator, go to the page that you want to delete, and click the blue trash icon. Hit OK to confirm. Now that your album is finished, we can upload it to Album Proofer and send it off to your client. 
Click on the Album Proofer tab. Fill in your client's name, email address, and password. Instead of retyping the same notification email every time, you can create and save email templates. Click the drop-down menu and go to Manage Email Templates. You can use one of our preloaded templates, or you can create and save a few of your own. If you would like to change anything, go for it. It'll be updated in the email preview. Click Upload, and your album proof will be uploaded to Proofer.com. Once your client has received your link, they can log into Album Proofer and review their album. Your clients can leave comments on specific spreads and you'll be notified by email. In Album Stomp, you'll see the comments on the My Albums page. Yellow is for a comment that you haven't read yet. Double click on the comment and it will take you to that spread so that you can make changes. In Feedback, you can view all the comments for that spread. And you can even comment back to them to confirm the changes you've made or to ask for clarification. You can also see which spreads have comments in the Spread Navigator. The yellow notification shows you that you have unread comments, whereas the gray notification lets you know that you have already read them. Then resync to update your album to proofer.com. If you need to update your client's details, click on the pencil icon. This will automatically resync when you quit Album Stomp as well. Once your album has been approved by your client, stomp your spreads to ready them for upload to your lab. By default, Album Stomp stomps your albums as spreads. If your lab requires individual pages, or the first and last as pages and the rest as spreads, click the toggle icon next to Stomp It. This will create JPEGs of your album spreads on your desktop. You'll be amazed at how quickly and easily you'll be designing albums in no time. And the more albums you design and sell, the more your clients will be eager to show off your amazing work to their friends and family. You make the photos. Album Stomp makes the design process fast, fun, and easy. Give it a try today. Click up stompsoftware.com slash albumstomp. Happy stomping!